The DGS65 gyro contains a gyro encoder flex card, or simply flex card, mounted inside the gyro capsule at the top of the internal assembly. This flex card is the information collector for the unit and transmits information to the microprocessor. There are two sets of LEDs and phototransistors built into the flex card which must operate properly. By monitoring the sequence in which these phototransistors turn on and off, the microprocessor determines the direction of the aircraft's turn. In recent years, we have discovered that older flex cards are reaching their effective life limits and are now experiencing higher failure rates. There are two primary ways this unit can fail. First, if one or both output channels from the flex card fail, the heading change information will not get to the microprocessor and the unit will not detect heading changes. This will result in a heading freeze on the HSI display. This type of failure may also be intermittent. Second, there is a circuit in the unit which monitors the electric current being supplied to the LEDs. If the current is interrupted, this monitoring circuit will cause the unit to send a flag signal to the HSI display and the red flag will drop in view. As with the output channel failure, the heading output will freeze. There is no type of temporary repair, bypass, or jumper approved by the OEM, and doing so is in violation of FAA regulations. Duncan Aviation recommends following OEM repair manual procedures for repairing and overhauling the DGS-65 gyro, and only using Rockwell Collins Gyro Encoder Flex Card, part number 634-2252-001.